Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Come, let's continue with our module 2, Adaptations in some Unusual Plants. Unusual Plants Plants are primarily known for their green color due to chlorophyll and the self-dependence for food. However, there are certain plants which show different types of nutrition. They are insectivorous plants which eat insects. Some of them are parasitic plants which absorb food from other living plants and some are fungi which absorb nutrients from dead and decaying plants and animals. Insectivorous plants. There are some plants which eat insects. Such plants are known as insectivorous plants. These plants are green in color and make their own food. But they grow in soil which is poor in mineral, especially nitrogen. So they trap and in eat insects to fulfill their nutrient requirement. Some of the examples of insectivorous plants are sundew, Venus flytrap and pitcher plant. Venus flytrap the Venus flytrap is a plant that traps and eats insects. The leaves of the plant grow in rounded halves. The halves are hinged together on one side like a box. Each half of the leaf has long spikes along its edge and three hairs on top which are sensitive to touch. The leaf oozes a sticky substance that attracts flies and insects. When an insect crawls between the two halves of the leaf, the hairs detect its presence. In less than a second, the leaf snaps shut and long spikes lock together. Once the insect is trapped, the leaf releases in digestive juices which break down the insects to nutrients. The leaf absorbs the nutrients and transports them to all parts of the plant. Pitcher plant. In pitcher plant, the leaf is modified into a pitcher with a lid which can open and close. The pitcher is filled with a special nectar or a digestive liquid. Whenever an insect comes to feed on this nectar and sits on the edge of the pitcher, the lid closes and the insect is trapped inside. The insect gets digested from which the plant can obtain its mineral nutrition. Sundew this plant has long tentacles protruding from their leaves, each with a sticky gland at the tip. These droplets look like dew glistening in the sun, thus their name sundew. The glands at the tip produce nectar which attracts the prey and also acts as a powerful adhesive to trap and digest the insects. Once an insect gets stuck, the nearby tentacles coil around the insect and smother it. Fungi Fungi are organisms that cannot make their own food by photosynthesis as they do not have chlorophyll. They absorb nutrients from dead and decaying plants, animals or stale food. They are also called saprophytes. Molds and mushroom are some of the examples of fungi. Parasitic plants the plants which do not make their own food instead absorb food from other living plants are called a parasitic plants. Daughter plant is one such example of a parasitic plant. This plant does not have any roots or leaves, thereby no chlorophyll to produce its own food. Instead, they grow on their host plants without touching the soil. They penetrate their host plants to extract water and nutrients. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.